Hey, good morning guys. It's Coriel here with Twitchers Fishing and I thought I'd quickly make a video this morning of my first impressions and thoughts on the Shore Fishing Fly Tying Kit. So I purchased this kit quite a while ago and I finally just got around to opening it up. Open water season is uh, slowly winding down for me and hard water is going to start taking over. But in the downtime between uh, work and fishing, I thought what better way to enjoy and expand this hobby than learn the art of fly tying. So a couple of different reasons why I went with this kit over some of the other kits. Uh, I kind of weighed the pros and cons of them. Uh, the big one to me was the fact that instead of giving you a little bit of random materials and you kind of trying to just figure your way around them and you know learn what flies you can tie this kit comes with three very beginner basic fly time patterns that you can tie with just enough material that you get to tie six of them six of each so you get a little kit here for the grizzly another one for the black nose dace and then the last one here is the woolly bugger olive so like I said, they do give you enough material in each one that you can tie six of each fly. So that's a total of 18, 18 flies that you can tie. So that's right off the bat, it's quite, quite good. You know, for somebody like myself anyways, obviously the first couple are not going to be that, that great. But um, I like the fact that, you know, it's, it's repetition. Um, aside from that though, the other thing I really liked was the vice. Um... From some of the other kits, um, I, I don't know, I would not call this a premium vice, but you know what, as opposed to some of the other vices that were in some of the other kits, this was a much better alternative. Um, eventually, you know, I, I'd probably look at a vice with a pedestal, um, a rotary for sure, but you know what, um, this, for, for myself anyways, this is perfect. I'm, I'm, no, I'm no expert. Uh... Okay, now I'm just going to grab these tools here and we'll quickly go over the tools. So, obviously, comes with some, some uh, solvent cement, so bead glue. You get a really sharp and heavy pair of scissors. Uh, these, these scissors actually do feel premium from some of the other scissors uh, in some of the other kits. Obviously, you know, standard tool, you get your whip finisher. You got your bodkin. Hackle pliers. Bobbin threader. Bobbin holder. So right there, that's that was every other kit I looked at minus the cement. Um, but this kit came with the cement as well as a hair stacker, which was uh, very rare. I think this was actually the only kit that actually came with a hair stacker. Will this be beneficial right off the bat for myself? I'm not sure, but I like the fact it came with it and I don't have to buy, I don't have to buy it separately down the road because I already have it. Now, are these tools great? I don't know. You know, um, from obviously some of the other kits that you can buy tool wise, probably not, but out of a, uh, kit for learning fly tying, these were the best option that I, I came up with. They didn't feel as flimsy or as cheap as some of, some of the other kits. And again, you know, I can attest to that just because of the scissors. Uh, these are actually a very you know, they, they have some weight to them. So whether or not that's going to mean anything, I don't know. But to me, they just feel like a, a premium product. Uh, the only other thing that came in this kit that we'll go over is the beginner's fly tying manual. So it gives you a little bit of, you know, um, history on fly tying, goes over hook anatomy, hook sizes, goes over some of your tools and how to use your tools and then goes over some materials some threads and it just goes over actually the three the three little kits here it goes over it covers those three 
uh, in detail and how to tie them in here, which I really, really like. Um, it also gives you a couple others, if I'm not mistaken, for learning to tie. No, I lied. But what it actually does cover is the type of fly those are. So, for instance, the, the woolly bugger is a wet fly and kind of explains what makes it a wet fly as opposed to a streamer or a dry fly or a nymph. So, obviously not the most detailed book. It's very small. But for somebody first starting out tie flying like myself, I don't think there was a better option out there. Other than that, it was great seeing you. I hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe out there. This is Coriel with Twitchers Fishing. Bye.